I thought we could both use some change, a newer perspective to see how life looked in a different lane. But here in your arms, I can't leave now, 'cause I don't wanna let go. Hey, this is Vilna and I'm back after a little absence from YouTube. I hope you missed me and I'm very excited to bring you this little tutorial of mixed media cards with my little foxes that I created for Valentine's Day and I'm very excited about it. I created two sets of the same ones. One is with text and one is without text and also a sh sheet of stickers and you can print these on sticker paper and cut it out with your silhouette cameo and I'm going to use these on the little clear envelopes to write the names on if you want to. It's just a little add-on but I think it's so cute. I just absolutely loved the process and I just want to share it with you and I hope you make these with me. They are super easy to make and so 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 much fun. So we're going to start off with watercolor paper I use Canson watercolor paper from Michaels and the size is just over five inches and I also created a, a few stencils for you that you can download and cut out with your machine and th the reason for this is because I want texture so we're going to use light molding paste and you can see there are pluses and other markings on the stencil and we are just going to scrape our light molding paste through the plus signs and then maybe one other bunch of markings. I don't want us to fill the pa little page with um, texture because we want some calm areas too. And I actually uh, created all the markings on this little um, template or stencil so that you, if you struggle with coming up with your own markings you can use mine as a idea you can paint through it you can draw through it you can just use it as a guide but of course you can use it however you want so first step is to scrape a little bit of mulling paste through the pluses on all 12 cards so I'm making 12 and you can see here how lovely it looks even though it's not super visible. The main thing is you want your molding paste to be dry completely before you paint over it. So now I'm going to use my Kiritaki watercolors and I am going to paint all 12 cards with a little bit of green and yellow. So I have a rule that um, I don't mix my watercolors on, on the palette always except sometimes <laughs> so you can see the yellow there is already a little green and I wanted a little bit of a green of a yellowish green so that's why I did it wet your brush and then you can just add a little bit of green to that yellow and let's paint so the trick is um, lots of water and just have fun with it you know there's no right or wrong you can't really mess it up um, I love working on watercolor paper because it absorbs the paint and that way you know you it it does crinkle a little bit but we are going to stitch it um, in the end and yeah so just use water and let it dry so that is maybe the biggest trick when you paint with watercolors is to let it dry between the layers otherwise it becomes murky and it becomes dirty and you know I don't know it's just that you have to have a little patience now you can see how the molding paste is showing up and this that's literally all I'm going to paint it's just the top part a little bit of green I'm going to to mix in or let the yellow flow in and clean water is important little yellow green and then a little bit of green and 
just water. And that is just how easy it is to paint your little cards. Another thing that you will notice that I leave a tiny little border around the edge. So don't paint um, to the edge. Just leave a tiny little border because you want room to stitch your little watercolor paper page on your card. Got lost somewhere along the way Chasing the grass that looked greener Lost sight of my reason to stay But one look from you draws me nearer So I don't want to let go Love has a funny way of growing For those that don't mind slowing down Time is as fleeting as a sunset Hiding in the evening clouds so live with me here in this moment now I've started to notice a change And every morning I see you Lovely in all kinds of ways I, can't I like my kids to make me coffee with froth milk So even though they're circling this project like sharks, they all want cards for their boyfriends. And I'm like, yeah, you can pay me for that. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. I am adding a little foam strip to my illustrations because the mixed media card is a little busy. So it's nice just to have it pop off the page a tiny bit. And now we're going to add acrylic paint. I have a new favorite thing to do in mixed media and it's to paint with acrylic paint and then to add watercolors on top of that. Just love the effect. So you don't really need that lemon yellow. I used a, a rose pink and um, a, a light rose and white. And that's all you need, just those three colors. And now we're just going to paint the bottom half of our cards that we use the watercolors on. Again, you just want to make sure that your paint, your watercolor is completely dry before you start painting with the acrylic paint. And the reason for that is because otherwise you are going to create murky and paint and you don't want that. So I'm starting with the darker pink. I'm just going to walk you through this first one and then I'll let you just watch how I paint the others. And then I'm mixing in a little bit of the lighter pink, the rose. So the thing with the Liquitex acrylic, the basics, is it's a nice paint and you can actually use it in pasto, but it's not very opaque. So it's a little bit transparent. And I don't mind it for projects like this. So it's fine because actually it's cool where it's a little transparent in certain spots because then you can see the watercolor underneath it. It looks opaque on the video, but in real life it's actually quite transparent. So you just want to play with it a little and and blend the colors so you start with darker and then you go lighter and then you can just play with it and you can see how the watercolor shape actually determines where I paint so you just follow it it's like it's like a chart like a road map you just go where the page tell you to go this is a very very um, common approach that I use when I art journal is I, I don't pre-plan anything. Usually it just happens where the markings are and that tells me where I want to go. It's a very interesting choice of color, this green and yellow, and then um, combined with the pink. And how I came up with that is um, I created some original pages last weekend for um, Tia, my eldest girl, started an art school in our town and I'm very, very, very proud of her and I made a, a little artwork for their studio and it's called Lemon Yellow 
and I used the yellows and the pinks and it just turned out so lovely so that was what I used as inspiration um, for my cards here and you know um, and also the illustrations itself is orange and pinks and greens and and I think it, it's kind of cool and you'll see later on how I add orange watercolor just to make um, it all pop it's, it's very unorthodox but it's beautiful and I think it worked great in my opinion <laughs> you might hate it that's fine <laughs> I can I create some texture on the page itself with the paint so that's another way to add te texture to your page and honestly just enjoy the process make the markings and and let it become like I'm a meditation for you and every morning I see you Lovely in all kinds of ways I can't express what it means to me when I come home to this Love has a funny way of growing For those that don't mind slowing down Sunset hiding in the evening clouds. So live with me here in this moment. Now. Oh, live with me here in this moment. Love has a funny way of growing. For those that don't mind slowing down Time is as fleeting as a sunset Hiding in the evening clouds So live with me here in this moment now Can we live right here in this moment? Right, the next step, um, I'm using a little bit of gouache and now I'm just going to add a lot of water to it and make some black paint splatters. So this is one of my favorite things and you use a big round brush for it. Maybe this brush wasn't big enough, but uh, yeah, you can use acrylic ink, you can use watercolor, you can use anything. Actually, um, Acrylic ink is probably the best one because you don't have to add water and the paint dropper is um, lovely to drop um, drops with. However, mine was in the studio outside of my house and it's very cold today so I just didn't want to go out so I just decided to use whatever is in my studio in, in my house So and it was the gouache. Um, the easiest way to get these drops is to add enough water and then tap over your finger. So I apologize the video is not quite in focus but I think you get the gist of it and I love 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 these black little um, paint splatters. It's just something that I've always used and I really love using it. The, the, I don't know, for some reason I couldn't get my, my water to drop by itself. It always used, needed that little bit of a, a tap over my finger. And, um, and I think it's just because there wasn't enough water on there. So don't overdo it. And I know it's a daring thing to do with the black. But um, the, the paint does dry soft. So it, it became a little bit more gray when it dried 
and it's fine. I just wanted that little bit of a splash. I always feel like Dexter when I do this. And another little trip, tip for you is don't do it with red paint because it always looks like blood to me. So that's why when I do this type of thing, I use black. Right, let it dry completely. And now we're going to start with the fun part. So this is really my favorite part. And I call it the embroidery stage where you just come in and you just do those little detail um, markings with your watercolors. And I love, love, love this. So I'll show you a couple of um, of the pages that how I painted them. I'm not going to show you all of them, but you want to use your watercolors. Again, I love the Kuretake watercolors. I love the color. I love the, the opaqueness of the paint. And, and I like that when you have a pan that's empty, you can buy that color specifically, you know. So, um, this is what I wanted to show you. If you are unsure and you're not really practiced in making markings, you can use my stencils as a guide. So I just painted through it and then you can take it off and then you can paint over it again. So that's just a way to um, add markings to your page without you feeling intimidated. So that's just a little thing. Maybe, maybe you're not afraid and I would say just go for it. Remember there's no right or wrong. So I like the watercolor on the, on the acrylic paint. I like how it um, dries and, and it's beautiful, the layering. So this is what this is all about. I'm not sticking my illustration down just yet. I am just going to um, place it and see where do I need to paint where do I need to paint and how I want it to look. So this is really just doodling and I, I adore this phase. Again, this is ideal. Put on an audio book, your favorite music, whatever, and, and just enjoy the process of the painting. Sit there while I tell you just how beautiful you look tonight As if you haven't heard me say about a hundred times You shake your head and look away I promise that I've tried my hardest to let go of this But every time I think about a world without you in it my life becomes a darker shade of gray Hey, hey And all I wanna do Is make you smile When darkness still ensues I wanna be alive Whatever we go through I'll make it worth your while Every minute, every hour, every day I want to make you smile Stand and keep on staring while I tell you that you're all I need And even though I know you know that I'm a fighting me I'm gonna keep on showing you exactly what I mean Cause all I want to do When darkness still ensues, I want to be alive. Whatever we go through, I'll make it worth your while. Cause every minute, every hour, every day, I want to make it. I'll know it was worth it every 
every night I lie beside you And your tears keep you awake Honey, it's so worth it You'll always be worth it Cause all I wanna do Is make you smile When darkness still ensues I want to be alive Whatever we go through I'll make it worth your while Cause every minute, every hour, every day I want to make you smile oh, Every minute, every hour, every day I want to make you For better or for the worse As long as we're together We'll make it through this I knew that it was true From the very first time I kissed your lips I know every day Sometimes you may feel like giving up But you just gotta look back and remember what we're made of I'll stay by your side when storms are That goes deeper than the surface I've waited my whole life to find someone Who gives love a purpose mm -hmm. I'll stay by your side Again, just no rhyme or reason. The page dictates the markings. And like I said, it's like a roadmap. And this is really the basics of art journaling is you just go where the markings tell you to go. 
And I love this intuitive process. And the more you do it, the easier it will become. It's really exercises in creativity. And remember what I always say on my videos is that every time you're creative, you just put it into that little chest, chest of treasures and it never ever goes to waste. Even if you make something that is an absolute disaster, it's still worth it. So again, you know, when you paint um, on in layers you just want the layers to dry so once you've painted your your watercolors let it dry completely I like it to dry naturally you can use a embossing tool to dry it but then you get a different look to it so that is just um I like the natural dry so what I did was I would paint and read my book for an hour and then paint and read my book. So so this happened in in a whole afternoon while the paint dried. I also did a couple layers. For instance, this lovely turquoise that I'm painting around the plus signs. Well, once it dried, it, it lightened up quite a bit. So I went back and I added just a little bit more pigment to it. So it's a little bit more opaque. I wanted that little bit of a contrast. So a lot happening on this little page. And it's really like you're making 12 little original pages. Um, so yeah, just be patient with it, right? And I like how every drawing dictates a different vibe almost. So what I used was, you can see, this one is always forever. And I would l write the lyrics to that little song, I love you, now and forever, near or far, closer together. And and the one there, you can see, feel my love. Um, no, there's nothing I wouldn't do to make you feel my love. And I, and I used the song lyrics, and that's why it's called Lyrical foxes xoxo so here you can see i'm doing a second layer of the turquoise and because the first one dried really light and i love the layering part of it i like the effect around the molding paste and it really makes it pop so that's just a little tip for you use a fine point brush and that way, you know, um, you can get into those little nooks and crannies. Say it's too soon to be falling for you. Cause I've heard of things like this before, but didn't know the dream still came true. Who gets to say we're not right? That it won't work you and I Cause as long as it's worth fighting for In our eyes we should be fine So what if we only just met True love don't wait for it Tells us what we can or can't do Darling, I know that I'm in love with you Okay, so on every little page I did dab a little bit of white paint through the stencil on every single one just here and there and I have four stencils with different markings so I use different um, pieces of the, of the stencil and it's just a little bit of extra texture and I think the white just uh, lightened it up, freshened out a little, you know, so whatever you want to use. So you can use one, you can use different ones and yeah, it's just 
really a cool way to add texture to your page. You can use the, uh, the black paint, you can use any kind of paint color, it doesn't matter. I just want it white. A little note, when you use your Silhouette Cameo, your Cricut, I really recommend um, using a, you, make sure your mat is, is sticky enough when, because when the media starts moving around on it, that, that's when you get problems. So I bought a new Silhouette Cameo mat and I had no problems cutting my, my stencils out. Even those little ones, it just worked like a charm. I love, love, love that. And there you can see I even layered the stencil with the white paint over the watercolors. And there's no reason why you don't, you can't do that. So that's just a little, little, another little tip. We'll just forget what they say. No use trying to explain. If they only knew the way we feel this would all go away let's get out of this town and start a life somewhere else find a place where we can finally breathe and just act like ourselves oh so what if we only just met They'll never understand what we have is it just another hopeless romance when you're young. So darling, take my hand. So what if we only just met? A couple of things that I just want to mention. First of all, I just want to tell myself, just move your, your sleeve out of the way. Um, but uh, just FYI, I did not get any paint on my sweater. So just so you know. But yeah, it's, I'm just shouting at myself watching the video back. And then the second thing is make sure that whatever sponge you use for the dabbing is not... There's not too much paint on it. So you would see I would dab in the paint and then just dab on the paper plate just to release some of the paint before you dab through the stencil. Because if it's there's too much media on it, it will go underneath the stencil. So finally, I'm ready to just stick the images on the, on the little backgrounds. So, and of course you can swap them out, um, however you want to do it. And I just love seeing them all together. So I like moving them around and until I can see them all and each one is different. So I just love this whole process. And there you can see the illustrations with the words on it and the ones without. So whichever ones you want to use is up to you. And you can just use a, a jelly roller in white to, or a acrylic ink in white to, to write on the, the empty, um, like this one, the empty tags. No one tells us what we can or can't do, darling, I know, oh, I know, it's darling, I know that I'm in love.
Right, the last thing we want to do is I want to um, adhere them to our cardstock. So these are, I think it's five and a half by five and a half cards that I bought from Michaels, these 14 a pack. They actually have white envelopes, but I want to use clear envelopes that I have on order. That's not here yet, but I have a couple left over. So I'm going to use my sewing machine and just do a straight stitch around on the white part of the watercolor paper so that um, it will just stick to the cardstock and I kind of like the little um, you know the the messy stitches look you know um, I don't know if you saw right in the beginning I did actually just use a tiny bit of hot glue in the middle just to keep the card in place when I run it through my sewing machine but that was just like the first few and then I just centered it once you start sewing it actually keeps it in place fairly well so I leave the threads long or relatively long and I like it I like the messy look of it and if you look closely on the illustrations itself I use digital stitches as well so it's Thought of sort of a theme like that like yeah and there you go the card is done and now you can just add it to a clear envelope and put on a sticker and you have a beautiful happy card that you can give um, to someone and I think the reason why I did a couple without the words is because then it's for any time of the year, for birthdays, anniversaries. And I love having cards like this in stock so that I can give it out to friends and hide it for my children so they don't steal it. So thank you so much for watching. I, If you watched it all the way through <laughs> till this point, we definitely need to be friends. Um, follow me on Instagram. I don't post as many videos anymore, but I'm very creative and, and still working very hard. I'm working on an exhibition, um, some other projects um, and festivals that I'm entering out into. So I'm busy and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, hanging out with me and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you feel inspired and that you are itching to pick up your paintbrushes and make some art. So until next time, bye. It's darling, I know that I'm in love.